we begin by raising the chassis. Then we back out the slack adjuster to allow the brake shoes to separate from the drum. Next we remove the drum either by tapping with a mallet or by uh, prying the front edge loose with the bar. Uh, you want to gaze these drums, make sure that they're within tolerance. Uh, if not, you want to replace them. Uh, once they're clear, you can pry the springs out using a screwdriver or uh, another tool. Uh, they're under tension, so you just want to protect yourself. Uh, then we go ahead and remove the brake pads. Then you'll want to remove the bushings and sleeves. Uh, either with a mallet or uh, other type of a uh, bushing removal tool, which uh, you'll see in a minute. Here I uh, use a specialized uh, bushing removal tool which I use to uh, remove the remaining sleeves. Here you'll want to clean up all the surfaces uh, using some penetrating oil and uh, maybe a wire brush. Uh, also finishing off with some brake cleaner. Uh, we use a little bit of Never Seize on some of the mating surfaces to help uh, get these things off next time around. Uh, you also want to check your parts box. Make sure you have all your parts uh, according to your manufacturer specs. Here we have our new sleeves. These are the clips that hold our mainspring. Uh, these smaller springs will go on the, on the pivot side. And then we got our main return spring. You want to make sure you got your roller bushings. as well as the retainer clips. Uh, these retainers go on the cam side roller. It just fits right there on the brake shoe and the clip helps uh, hold it in place. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use our uh, bushing tool to install the new sleeves. And again, I put uh, Never Seize on there to make sure all the pivot surfaces uh, are in good working order. Uh, we want to clean up the S cam surfaces, uh, but we don't want to put Never Seize on these. Uh, putting Never Seize here could uh, affect the rolling mechanism. Uh, here you can see where the main return spring 
uh, hooks onto the clips. You got the seat, you just want to make sure they all line up. Uh, using a screwdriver with a little notch in the end, I uh, use that to help maneuver these springs into place uh, until they're properly secured. Next, we want to make sure we clean up all the Zerk fittings and uh, put a proper amount of grease in each one. everything in place you can then uh, install the drum uh, you want to apply air to the system and, and adjust your brakes uh, these particular slack adjusters uh, I tighten up and back off one half turn uh, but you want to check with your manufacturer so once your adjustments have been made, just want to make sure everything's operating properly. <laughs> 